Alexa, stop it. Today's heroine is a bit strict to Alexa. We are going to show you a day in the life of a Japanese university student who lives in a village in a mountain just by herself. She fixed a hundred years old house by herself. She eats vegetables directly from the farm even before cooking. Let's go find out with Ken. Her day in the life is unique and full of fun. You might start willing to live in the mountains after watching this. Well, let's start her day. Her name is Wakana. She is 21 years old. Oshire is a huge closet in traditional style Japanese house. Wakana renovated this Oshire to a bunk bed. She's an university student in Tokyo area. Wakana is taking a leave of absence from the university and is living deep inside the mountain, which is about 1,000 kilometers away from Tokyo. She's wearing hanten, a Japanese traditional jacket. It has cotton inside and it's very warm. She just woke up and she's going out already. New Balance sneakers and hanten. This is her favorite everyday outfit. Cozy morning walk. Temperature is 5 degrees Celsius, and this is quite warm for this area. There are many days when it goes down to zero during winter. Wakana lives in Matsunocho. 85% of the village is a forest. You can sometimes catch a wild eel if you put a trap in the river. A small village with population of 300 people. There are no supermarket or station, but has a little post office and a bakery. Wakana stopped by while walking. She's Tamiko, 70 years old. She's a good friend of Wakana. Since Wakana moved into this village, Tamiko takes good care of her. Are they off to another walk? They came to a farm. Tamiko often shares vegetables from her farm. These are non-chemical organic vegetables. It's lettuce. Wakana eats lettuce directly from the farm. And celery. And Mizuna leaves. Fresh vegetables filled up the basket. Tamiko teaches great vegetable recipes. They picked up shiitake mushrooms too. Forest bathing feels so good. You could refresh and at the same time get some vegetables just by taking a walk. Morning walk is a must-do morning routine for Wakana. More than enough vegetables and mushrooms for a single breakfast. Wakana is going to make her own breakfast. There are enough of rice and fresh veggies from the neighbors. She rarely buys them. She does not have a gas stove, so she uses portable gas cassette for cooking. She's going to cook rice with donabe earthen pot. Rice is ready, and it looks so yummy. Rice, miso soup, and grilled fish. Traditional and standard Japanese breakfast. Laundry is done just when she finished eating. Wakana took wet laundry out and went somewhere outside. Picking vegetables at Tamiko's farm and hanging wet laundry in neighbor's land. 
Seems like the whole village is Wakana's garden. This is her ordinary morning routine. She's taking an absence from the University of Foreign Language, but she's still a student. Wakana is going to start studying. She's doing some English assignment. Uh, at their uh, Japanese companies. I realized that. Uh, In between her studies, she sometimes does a part time job at a yakitori restaurant located at the foot of the mountain. But she has a day off today. After finishing her assignment, she's going to fix some parts of her house. Tatami, Japanese flooring made with brush. This igusa brush keeps the room warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Seems like tatami mats are being damaged. They are getting old and color is fading, but she's going to paint them with special tatami paint. As you can see from the conditions of tatami, it is a quite old house. Wakana lives while fixing parts that are being damaged or aging. I wonder when this was built. <laughs> if you were to rent the same sized house in this area, it is about 20 to 30,000 yen a month. However, there was no one who wanted to live due to the condition of the house. So someone like Wakana who wants to live while fixing the house sounds great from the local people. That's why the rent is zero. There is another damaged little house next to it. After fixing the tatami mats, it's lunch time. She's going somewhere out for lunch. She came to an only shop in the neighborhood. Her favorite bakery. Wakana decided to live in this village due to COVID-19. She was planning to travel around the world, so took absence from the university. However, her trip got canceled due to the pandemic. One of her friends brought her to this village. The whole atmosphere of the village and the local people matched her so well. So she decided to rent a vacant house and live while she's out of school. Wakana came back home. After warming up with the stove, time for afternoon study. This old style keyboard is again very, very, very unique. Alexa, Hi, Amazon Music no playlist. Genki ga deru pops o saisei shimas. She never felt inconvenient while living deep in the mountain. Wakana might need to thank the Wi Fi. Alexa, stop it. If the choice of Alexa isn't so good, she sings by herself. Another little walk in the neighborhood. <laughs> this is Japanese native Shiba Inu. This neighbor often shares her vegetables and some meals, so in return, she's walking their dog. This is how economy moves in mountain. Wakana is going somewhere with all that stuff. Those ankles look really cold, but... She's going summer hot, which is great in this kind of cold day. After going through a bush, she came to a riverside with some dried plants. There is a small hut. What is this for? Wakana helped making this sauna too. The whole construction cost was 10,000 yen. Well, this is surely a hot spot. That sauna hat looks great on you, Wakana. If there isn't one, make one brand new. If anything is broken, fix it by yourself. This is how people in the countryside live. 
After coming home, Wakana takes a bath. She also fixed this bath too. Hot water flows out normally, but you could also warm the bath by firewood. After 6 p.m., the whole area gets dark. But with social media and subscripted programs, there is no worry to be left out of all the information. She's going to have potluck with the neighbors. They all bring food and drinks to have fun. Yakisoba and gyoza are the main menu. They do this once in a while. Party is over and neighbors head at home. Wakana gets ready to go to sleep. <laughs> she posted the party in her Instagram. So, this is the day in the life of Wakana, who lives alone in the mountains. Deep and active communication with the neighbors, which is rare in the big cities. Gentle, yet tough nature. It might not be convenient like in the cities. But which would you prefer? The temperature is going down below zero in the midnight. It might be another cold night, but she will be just fine inside her Oshire bunk bed. Have a sweet dream, Wakana. <laughs> <laughs>